Space, the final frontier. These will be the voyages of SpaceX Starship. Its mission, Mars, to make humanity a multi-planetary species, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Today, I'm going to talk about SpaceX, why I'm excited to invest in it, and how all of us can do so in the future. Welcome back to Investing in Darren. Click subscribe, stay updated to more videos like this. What is SpaceX? SpaceX story started in the year 2001 when Elon Musk came up with the idea of the Mars Oasis project. It was a project to launch a small greenhouse to grow plants on Mars. The idea was to rekindle the public's interest in space and increase NASA's funding. Elon went to Russia to try to buy cheap rockets but was rejected. On his way home, he decided to start his own rocket company instead. That company became known as SpaceX, short for Space Exploration Technologies. Elon Musk says on SpaceX mission page, you want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great. And that is what being a spacefaring civilization is all about. It's about believing in the future and thinking that the future will be better than the past. And I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. Critics of SpaceX say that there are many problems on this world to solve. And why are we diverting resources away from it? Elon Musk agrees and he says that 99% of all our resources can be focused on solving our problems here. But we can also allocate 1% of our resources in helping humanity reach for the stars. I agree with that. SpaceX is now most famously known for launching reusable rockets and live streams most of its launches, allowing the public to participate. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off of Falcon 9. Falcon 9 is clear the tower. One famous launch was when Elon brought his Roadster to space. I have a lot to learn about space and I'm not physics trained. I recently bought the book Liftoff by Eric Berger, who's been covering SpaceX for a decade. The book highlights the early years of SpaceX and its struggles to launch a rocket, especially when many rocket companies have failed before them. I'll put an Amazon link for the book in the description below. There are two great YouTubers I go to to learn about space. Everyday Astronaut and Marcus House. Everyday Astronaut recently released a three-part interview series with Elon Musk that I think is a must-watch for Elon Musk and also space fans. I'll put those interviews down in the description below also. On this channel, I'll be covering SpaceX from an investor standpoint in the months and years to come. How to invest in SpaceX? SpaceX is a private company valued at $74 billion. For context, Rivian, an EV company that hasn't sold a single car yet, plans to file for IPO later this year for $80 billion. I believe that SpaceX is undervalued. Tesla is changing this world. SpaceX is going to change humanity. Retail investors can't currently invest in SpaceX. You've got to have double digit in millions and get the right invites to participate in private funding rounds for SpaceX. However, there are plans for Starlink, which is SpaceX satellite internet division, to IPO in the next few years. Starlink has in a short span of time, got 100,000 paying customers worldwide. These are customers paying a monthly subscription and that helps SpaceX generate a recurring cash flow and income stream. Right now, Starlink is available in at least 12 countries like the US, the UK, Germany, Netherlands, Australia, Austria, Poland, and many more to come. They're working hard to get approvals to operate in more countries and hope to have global coverage by next year. There have been many satellite internet companies in the past, like Viasat and HughesNet that operates in the US. The challenge there is that the coverage isn't that great and speeds are usually ranging from 25 megabits per second, best case scenario, 100 megabits per second. 
what sets Starlink apart is that today, it can already offer speeds of more than 300 megabits per second in some areas. That's faster than some urban broadband providers. Elon Musk has said that they intend to increase Starlink speed even further, eventually offering up to one gigabit per second. In addition, Starlink is a huge cost advantage because it can launch on its own company's Falcon 9 rockets. No other satellite internet provider can do that. It's a virtuous cycle of growth because it's very affordable and it gives the SpaceX team more operational knowledge in launching rockets. Some of their flights are also ride shares with other paying customers, so they still earn revenue launching rockets for Starlink. Elon Musk has said that he intends to give preference for long-term Tesla shareholders when Starlink IPOs in the next few years. So holding on to your Tesla shares can give you an advantage. I estimate that Starlink's IPO will happen by 2025. By then, they'll have a full constellation with global coverage and at least a million paying customers. If any company is going to the moon, it's going to be SpaceX. They literally have a contract with NASA to put astronauts on the moon later this decade. I watch most SpaceX launches, and one of the most inspiring launches is the Falcon Heavy launch back in 6th of February 2018. 6th of February is also my birthday. Thank you for watching this episode. Click the subscribe button to stay updated for more videos, and I'll leave you now with a clip of the Falcon Heavy launch.